Hey, y'all tune in to the Joe Maxwell TV, and I just want to um, let y'all know about a testimony that I've had, you know, or that I got, um, about how God really changed my life and answered the prayer that I prayed to him, you know what I'm saying, and um, I, it's a blessing to be changed and to be saved and to be, and, and to have the Holy Ghost, but I don't, I, I'm just waiting on the manifestations. I'm just waiting on the manifestation, but all I want to let y'all know is how I was walking down the street, going to to the bank to get some money out the bank so I can go smoke some marijuana, like a a regular, a usual day. You know that's what I did every single day, non-stop smoke. And um, I went and did what I did. And when I was coming back from that, I saw two white dudes with two yellow shirts. Both of them had two yellow hoodies on, and and I spoke to them as they was walking past me. I spoke. And one of them said, hey, and the other one said, Oop. so in my mind, I'm thinking, man, what in the world? I don't know what was going on. I, I, in my head, I just thought, because I, I was a spiritual person. You know, I, I always pray to God every day, and I believe, I, if it's something about the Bible, I believe, off top, no arguing about it. And um, once that happened, I just instantly thought that was God letting me know something, because that one, that was supernatural right there. And I, I thought they were speaking in Greek or Hebrew or something. And I don't know what Greek and Hebrew is. I don't know what it sounds like. But I just thought it at that moment. So that caused me to pray to God to forgive me for all my sins. And, and to if, if if smoking the sin, just take the feeling of wanting to smoke away from me or whatever. And that's what he did or whatever. And, um, I asked him to um, protect me through anything that might happen. And as soon as I said that, my heart started thumping. And my body is like a big basketball was in my in my in my chest part and just thumping like my heart was big as my whole hand and it was just thumping against my body and what that's what scared me and um I called my dad and he came and picked me up from Humphrey in Kalamazoo, Michigan and um he felt my heart and he was kind of nervous about it until he came to realization that God put no put fear in nobody's heart you know. Uh, especially a, a man of God, you know. And um, we went to the house, and he had his wife to um, feel my heart. She was in the tub, so I had to wait on her, and I was really ready for her to go to the hospital, you know. But you got to be humble and patient at, at certain things, you know. And the only thing that kept me strong through that situation is, is I knew that God had my back, and I asked God to protect me through anything that might happen. So that's the only thing that had me all right, but I still was kind of scared because I didn't know what was going on, like exactly. And um, that's when she got off the tub and she told me, uh, she told my dad that we really need to go see a, a, a doctor. So we went to the hospital. On our way to the hospital, I didn't hear the fire truck until, I ain't going to say I didn't hear it, but it didn't, they didn't turn the fire truck alarm on until they got by our car, the devil. Cause at that moment my heart slowed down until that fire truck came on, and that's what scared me. My heart started pumping back again. So we went to the hospital, and I, I was still ready for to go in the hospital. My dad won't talk. Can you believe that my dad won't talk? And my heart beating like a mug, like I'm finna die. Or something I knew I was finna die. I knew any minute now I was finna close my eyes and I was finna go to hell. That's that's what I thought. But then I guess God was talking to through my dad, you know. Well, I guess he was talking to my daddy, which caused him to pray for me. And we started praying, and that's when God was talking through my daddy. And I heard God's voice through my dad. And he was saying, like, he was praying, woo doo wah woo doo wah woo doo wah And when he said my name, he said, Joe. And, like, his voice got deep when he was saying it. And he was saying, woo doo wah woo doo wah woo doo wah woo doo wah the world. And I, 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 I took that it was God was trying to tell me something. I knew that was God was trying to tell me something. So I just asked God if he just bring me through this, I was going to change my life. And ever since December the 10th, 2012, the last time I smoked a blunt, God took that feeling of wanting to smoke away from me. And he did exactly what I asked for. And ever since then, i just been doing R&G music, moving in the works, studying. You know what I'm saying? Like, talking to these young girls about God and the Word and things like that. And, you know, I'm going to continue to do that to the day I die. But I'm, you know what I'm saying, I just want to let y'all know about my testimony, testimony and to let y'all know that it is possible for God to answer your prayers. You just got to have a relationship with him and you got to be real about it. And when he changes your life, you got to be consistent. You know, you can't just flip and back backslide. But you got to be consistent about it. You know, you got to stay in tune. You got to stay reading. You got to stay studying. And, you know, I just thank y'all for listening. Peace.